Hey friends, today I'm gonna talk about my most anticipated releases for the second quarter of 2019. So today I'm going to talk about my most anticipated releases for April, May and June and I think today is the longest list I've ever had. I always keep track of all of the releases that I anticipate. Then from there I have most anticipated releases and then usually the books that make it into these videos are my most most anticipated releases and I have usually about 15 to 20. This time my list of most most anticipated releases was 29 books. I had a hard time cutting any out so at the end I now have 26 to talk about so I'm gonna keep everything super short. I'm really only gonna say a couple of things and whatever intrigues me about the book and as always I'm gonna leave links to all of the Goodreads pages for these books in the description down below. I will not be able to do these books justice in this video with there being 26 books so definitely check them out if something sounds interesting to you or if we have like similar tastes or if a cover looks beautiful. I don't know <laughs> but yeah. I'm just gonna get started because there's a lot. So first off is The Princess and the Fangirl by Ashley Poston. This comes out April 2nd and I have already read this. This is a companion sequel to Gicarella. I highly, 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 highly recommend reading Gicarella before you dive into this one. But it is a YA contemporary, a retelling of The Princess and the Pauper and it is wonderful. One of the storylines features a female-female romance but I have a full video review for this and also a written Goodreads review so I'm gonna leave links to that in the description and you can check all of my thoughts out but I'm so excited for this to come out and to own a physical copy of this. Also on April 2nd we have Wicked Saints by Emily A. Duncan. This is a YA fantasy that I've heard amazing things about from my friends so that obviously has me very excited. I think it's like three very different people coming together to assassinate the king. It just sounds really cool and like something that I would really enjoy as far as fantasy goes so that's that. Then on April 9th we have Red Scrolls of Magic by Cassandra Clare and Wesley Chu. This is one of those books where I like don't really need to say anything. Obviously I'm excited about this. I love the whole Shadowhunter world. This is about Alec and Magnus who I really enjoy and yeah I'm just really excited. That's it. Then also on April 9th we have The Sword and the Dagger by Robert Co Cochran. I don't know and this I actually have an arc of but I'm not sure if I'm gonna get my review up in time if I do it's gonna be out this Friday but uh, this is a YA fantasy and I know that it is about a Christian princess and her prince and a Muslim assassin all going on a quest together I think this might actually be historical fiction not fantasy historical fantasy maybe I don't know. Then on April 16th I have The Meaning of Birds by J. Robin Brown. This is another one where I don't really have a lot to say because I don't even care what this book is about. I know that it's queer and I really enjoyed Georgia Peaches and Other Forbidden Fruit by J. Robin Brown. So that is all that I need to know and need to say. I know that this deals a lot with grief and I don't think that it has like a romance in the forefront. It has queer characters but I think the main topic is grief. That's all I know but I'm really just mostly interested because I know it's queer and because of the author. Then on April 30th we have A Prince on Paper by Alyssa Cole. I have an arc of this. I'm super excited and hope to read it like super soon. I have obviously really really fallen in love with the Reluctant Royals series by Alyssa Cole and this is the the third novel in that series and I just cannot wait to pick it up because Alyssa Cole is a gift to this world. <laughs> then also on April 30th we have Hot Dog Girl by Jennifer Dugan. This is about a girl who works in a theme park and dances around in a hot dog costume and she's in love with someone else who works in a theme park and I think there's definitely some like you know love and relationship drama. I am pretty sure that this has a lot of queer themes. I think that her best friend might be in love with her. I don't really know what's gonna happen and where this is gonna go but theme park and queer themes definitely interests me a lot. Then we have a ton of releases coming out on May 7th so get ready. The first one I have is Nocturna by Maya Motain which is probably not how you pronounce the name but it's a debut author so it's hard to find how to pronounce people's names. This is a YA Latinx inspired fantasy and it is about a face shifting thief and a prince trying to defeat some evil. It sounds really cool and Latinx inspired fantasy makes me very happy. Then we have With the Fire on High by Elizabeth Acevedo. First of all, can we talk about this cover? Whew, it's 
gorgeous absolutely gorgeous i know that this is about a girl who has a daughter and there's some financial struggles because of that and she cannot really you know live her dream of i think becoming a cook or something in that direction but she does like cook a lot and i think this might have some magical realism aspects in there because it says something in a synopsis about like how she like puts magical things into her cooking and so i don't know if this is like a metaphor for something or if it's actually going to be that but regardless I am really, really excited about this one. Obviously, I've heard amazing things about the author and that theme really interests me. Then we have Her Royal Highness by Rachel Hawkins. This is a YA contemporary about an American girl who comes to a boarding school in Scotland and she ends up being roommate with an actual Scottish princess and they fall in love. I am so excited about this. I know this is like a companion sequel to another book, which I definitely hope to read before that because I do think I will really enjoy it, even though it's not a female female romance, but still it sounds really cute. And in general, Rachel Hawkins is someone who I've been very aware of on Twitter and she seems like a really cool person. But this is just, I mean, this is everything I wanted and more. <laughs> Makes me just so excited. And I cannot wait for this to be out into the world. This is one of those books where I'm like, I might actually pre-order this and read it ASAP because holy shit. And then we have Dark Shores by Danielle L. Jensen. All I'm gonna say about this is pirates. I don't, I don't need more. You know I don't need more, so let's move on. And then the final May 7th release is Laura Dean Keeps Breaking Up With Me by Mariko Tamaki, illustrated by Rosemary Valero O'Connell. All I know is that this is a... Well, I do know a little bit about the story. The title already says it. It's about this girl and her girlfriend. Just, they like, they come back together and then she keeps breaking up with her again. So it's that kind of cycle. But mostly I'm interested just because it's a sapphic graphic novel and, like, I've heard mixed things or, like, Mediocre things about it so far, but literally I don't even care. It's a sapphic graphic novel, you know. Then we have Red, White and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. This comes out May 14th. I have an arc of this. I'm super excited. I hope to read it very, very, very soon. I just know that this is a romance between the first son of the president of the USA, which in this book is a woman, and the Prince of Wales. I have heard nothing but amazing things about this like really everybody loves this i think it is kind of like they have to have a fake friendship and then from there even though they don't like each other they start falling in love i also think it's new adult so that has me really excited because i love reading about new adult struggles and so yeah i just oh my god i'm so excited about this i cannot imagine not loving this and then also on may 14th we have i wish you all the best by mason deaver this is a YA contemporary about a non-binary teen and they come out to their parents as non-binary and they kick them out and so they move in with their estranged sister and it's kind of about that family relationship and then it also has a romance. I definitely know the love interest is black. Mason is someone who has been a very important Twitter presence and I definitely see them on my timeline all the time even without actually following them and so I'm just so so glad that they get to publish this story. It is on Voices and yeah I'm just so happy and I cannot wait to read and support this book. Then we have Amelia Westlake Was Never Here by Erin Garth. This comes out May 21st. This is about two girls coming together to expose their swim coach who has shown a lot of inappropriate behavior and while working together to expose him they fall in love. So that's that. <laughs> Also on May 21st is Going Off Script by Jen Wilde. I am definitely reading this because of the author. I am super intrigued because I know it's queer and I know it has something to do with a TV show. So I think it's gonna involve like people who work on a TV show. But Jen Wilde, I love both Queens of Geek and The Brightsiders. So I'm just super excited about this. And I think that she will deliver as always. Then on May 28th, we have These Witches Don't Burn by Isabel Sterling queer witches that's it that's all i really i'm not the biggest fan of stories about witches in general but there's so many queer witches right now i literally don't give a shit because like if it's witches female witches being love i don't mind 
Then we also have tons of releases on June 4th. The first one is I Wanna Be Where You Are by Christina Forrest. This is about a girl who wants to audition for this like dance and her mom doesn't allow it and so she just decides to secretly audition and kind of goes on a road trip and then some guy from her school I think ends up coming along on that road trip for some reason. I'm just guessing it's a road trip. It very much sounds like a road trip kind of book but I'm not even sure but I'm obviously super excited about this because of the dance element. Then also on June 4th we have Wild and Crooked by Leah Thomas. This is a YA contemporary about the friendship between a lesbian and a pan guy who is also disabled. I think he has cerebral palsy. I might have messed that up. This isn't explicitly in the synopsis but the guy has a father who was murdered and the girl has a father who was a murderer and I'm like they are connected and they don't know that the other person is the child of that person so I think they kind of get to know each other, they have a friendship and then this thing kind of gets exposed and drama happens. I don't really know but I'm really excited because it sounds really cool and really interesting and then obviously you know lesbian girl and a pan guy and lots of really really good. Then we have The Beholder by Anna Bright. This is a retelling of The Odyssey. It sounds like it's The Odyssey mixed with The Bachelorette. <laughs> I know it sounds very strange but I think it's gonna be so much for me because I love everything romantic and I love everything that has to do with adventures on sea. So I think I'm gonna enjoy this a lot even though reading this concept it's just like what? But I think it's gonna be so for me. And then we also have A Lady's Guide to Celestial Mechanics by Olivia Waite. This is a female-female historical romance between a astrologer and an explorer's widow. <laughs> like, excuse me? And it's adult historical romance, so I am ready for this. <laughs> then we have Shadow and Flame by Mindy Arnett. This is the sequel to Onyx and Ivory and the final book in the Rhyme Chronicles. It is a duology and I was really really intrigued by Onyx and Ivory and cannot wait for the sequel. Then we have a Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. For this I'm gonna tell you quite honestly this is why a fantasy something to do with the library and I love the cover. That's all. And finally, on June 4th, we have An Impossible Distance to Fall by Miriam McNamara. Now, I'm gonna be honest that I'm definitely a little bit wary of this one because The Unbinding of Mary Reed by Miriam McNamara was very, very messy and problematic. And so I am going into this with a little bit of hesitation because it is also a historical fiction with a female-female romance, which is also what The Unbinding of Mary Reed was. But I'm so ready to give this author another chance and I just really hope that she learned from her first book and that, you know, it's just like, I don't even care like if it's boring or whatever, like I don't give a shit. I just hope it's not problematic. And so, yeah, I'm just ready to, you know, see what the author does in this novel and just hope that it's better than The Unbinding of Mary Read. <laughs> and then on June 11th we have Tell Me How You Really Feel by Amina May Safi. This, I mean, <laughs> already the cover. Like, I don't, I, I don't even think I have to say anything about it. I think just looking at the cover you will all already know that I'm obviously anticipating this a lot. <laughs> and I love the cover, it makes me incredibly happy. This is kind of described as a female-female romance that is very inspired by classic rom-coms, so I absolutely love that. It might even be Hate to Love. I'm not sure, I might make that up. I didn't write that down, so I'm maybe making that up, but I feel like I've heard that from some people, so. And then finally, we have Wicked Fox by Kat Cho. This is a fantasy romance that takes place in modern day Seoul, and I mean, Asian inspired fantasy with a, you know, focus on romance, like, what else do I want? I literally don't care about anything else. Also, I really love this cover, just the colors on it. Hmm. So yeah, these were all of my most, most, most anticipated releases for April, May and June. And yeah, let me know if you're also anticipating any of these or any additional ones. I will probably 
have like if you mention some I will probably have them on my list too it's just that I didn't make it onto this list but definitely let me know about some of the books that you are anticipating in the next three months and yeah I make new videos every Wednesday and Sunday with occasional reviews on Friday so click subscribe to never miss anything and hit the little bell so you get notified as well and thank you so so much for watching I guess I'll see you soon bye